Hi everybody, Paul here. If a check engine light illuminates on the dashboard of your vehicle like you see here, then the computer on the vehicle is sending you a signal that something is wrong and you need to find out what made it turn on. The way to do that is to have it checked with a diagnostic scanner which will help diagnose the problem. If you do not have a diagnostic scanner, then take the vehicle to an auto parts store which will normally perform the service for free. What usually makes a check engine light turn on is due to something that's become faulty which either needs to be cleaned, is not receiving the proper voltage or vacuum, needs to be replaced due to normal wear, or needs to be replaced due to wearing out prematurely from not performing other routine maintenance. So let's take a look at some of the most common things that cause a check engine light to turn on. Remember, a steady check engine light is telling you something is wrong. A blinking check engine light is telling you it's something more serious and the car should not be driven. First pertains to air intake systems. Number one is a dirty air filter causing air intake restriction which can cause a rich air fuel mixture, engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty throttle body due to accumulation of carbon, road grime, and other materials interfering with opening and closing the throttle plate, causing a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty gasket on the intake manifold or throttle body, which can cause a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to cooling systems. Number one is a faulty engine coolant thermostat which can cause a rich air fuel mixture, engine overheating, and a check engine light. This can also be caused by a bad water pump, worn or loose water pump belt, or low engine coolant. Number two is a faulty engine cooling fan causing engine overheating and a check engine light. Next pertains to electrical systems. Number one is a faulty alternator which can affect multiple systems causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Number two is a faulty battery which can affect multiple systems causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Number three is a faulty ground wire or electrical connection to the alternator, battery, or engine control module which can affect multiple systems causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Next pertains to emission systems. Number one is a faulty catalytic converter due to a rich air fuel mixture or engine misfire which can cause blockage and restricted airflow causing a check engine light. Number two is a faulty exhaust gas recirculation valve, also referred to as an EGR valve, which can also be caused by carbon buildup, diaphragm, or vacuum leaks, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Older EGR valves operate with vacuum, while newer ones operate with vacuum electric or strictly electric. Number three is a faulty EVAP canister vent control valve, which prevents fuel tank vapors from being released into the atmosphere, causing a check engine light. Number four is due to a gas cap that's become faulty or incorrectly installed, not maintaining pressure in the fuel tank, causing a check engine light. Next pertains to engine control module or ECM systems. Number one is a faulty engine control module, also referred to as an ECM, which can affect multiple systems, cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to engine control module or ECM sensor systems. Number one is a faulty camshaft position sensor, also referred to as a CMP sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty crankshaft position sensor, also referred to as a CKP sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor, also referred to as an ECT sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number four is a faulty intake air temperature sensor, also referred to as an IAT sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number five is a faulty knock sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number six is a faulty manifold absolute pressure sensor, also referred to as a MAP sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. 
Number seven is a faulty mass airflow sensor, also referred to as a MAF sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number eight is a faulty oxygen sensor, also referred to as an O2 sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number nine is a faulty throttle position sensor, also referred to as a TPS, which can also be caused by accumulation of carbon, road grime, and other materials interfering with opening and closing the throttle plate, causing a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to fuel systems. Number one is faulty fuel containing water or too high of an ethanol or other substitute used in non-flex fuel vehicles causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty fuel line which can become crimped or flattened from other repairs or improper lifting or jack use not providing enough fuel to the engine causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty fuel filter becoming dirty and clogged, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number four is a faulty fuel injector becoming dirty and clogged, developing internal mechanical or electrical issues, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number five is a faulty fuel pump not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Fuel injection pumps are located inside the fuel tank, whereas carbureted fuel pumps are located outside the fuel tank. Number six is a faulty fuel tank pressure sensor, also referred to as a FTP sensor, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to all ignition systems, not including diesels. Number one is a faulty spark plug not able to provide enough spark, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Next pertains to distributorless ignition systems, also referred to as DIS, not including diesels. Number one is a faulty ignition coil, also referred to as a coil on plug, coil per cylinder or coil near plug not able to provide enough voltage to the spark plug causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty spark plug wire used on coil near plug ignition coils which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Next pertains to timing systems. Number one is a timing chain or timing belt that has slipped or jumped on the drive gears or been incorrectly installed, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty variable valve timing solenoid, also referred to as a VVT, which can also be caused by low or dirty engine oil, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. And last pertains to vacuum systems. Number one is a faulty vacuum hose due to being broken, disconnected, or leaking, which can cause a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. So if your check engine light turns on, don't wait to diagnose it because the problem may become worse and even damage something else. If you can find what the problem is, you might be able to fix it yourself, which can sometimes be quite easy and can save you money. If you cannot do the work yourself, then you'll need to take it to a good, trustworthy mechanic. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye for now.